the arrow points to a 250-foot radio tower. It's no longer standing. Cleo took her toll. The tower crashed to within less than a foot of WCKT's main studio. It belonged to WILD and NBC Radio Affiliate. The twisted mass of steel crushed several automobiles, including that of a WCKT switchboard operator who had been consoling viewers. The tower had to be cut off before nearly a score of automobiles trapped by the steel barricade could leave the island. Shortly before the eye of the storm reached WCKT, power sources at the studio failed. Communications media did not escape Cleo's wrath. Radio station WINZ, with studios atop the Biscayne Terrace Hotel in downtown Miami, was completely blown apart by the tough little storm. Announcers and engineers, busily broadcasting hurricane information when the wind, windows blew in, had to run for their alarm. 